Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Youth Squad Prospects 5 with Bradford City. And today it's time for the season finale. As you can see, we are sitting eighth in the table, as I told you last episode. My goal is to finish in the playoffs. We've got four games this episode. We've got Plymouth first. It's going to be a tough game. They're at the top of the table. Then we've got Oldham, Crew, and Morecambe as well. Right, the pressure is on. Let's get going. Quick check on the sliders. I'm still going to improve the shot speed slightly and decrease the pass speed a little bit to 40. An acceleration to 42. And anything else I'm going to keep. For the user though, I'm going to put the shot error up to 55. I'm going to put the pass speed up to 50. Pass error will stay at 46. And anything else I'm leaving as the same. So I'm adjusting the sliders as I go here. As what I feel during the games. That's the sliders. There's our starting lineup. I decided to put Sokolov up front to support El Shanawi. I've decided to put him up there since both uh, Donaldson and Edwards are tired. And so is Boral as well, which is surprising. Uh, Boral's the one on the bench. I think he can still make an impact off it. And it's basically a second string side, but so is Plymouth Argyle. The fixture congestion costing both sides, really. Let's see who deals with it the best. Let's get down to home park. If there's a game... Where there's no pressure at all, it's this one. The best team in the league by an absolute mile, Plymouth Argyle. I'm not expecting much because the reverse fixture was an absolute battering. But the team has improved, so let's do our best and see what result comes out of it. Yes, Sokolov through. This could be the chance. Here is Sokolov. It's in. It's 1-0. And the first time we get some breathing room in this game. We find ourselves in the box and actually manage to pick up a goal. Nice little combinations between El Shanawi and Sokolov. It's been a good strike partnership, I'm not going to lie. The first time they've got the ball and actually get something going between themselves, they've put it in the back of the net, haven't they? So, you got to say they've done well together. So we've been put to the sword for 24 minutes. It has definitely come against the run of play. We are gaining confidence as we go along here. Oh, shooting, I've definitely up the shooting on their end. So, we'll, we're still yet to see a goal from them, but I'm sure we will. There's a goal, Jackson with the second. What's going on with the defense? It might be something with the line height, I don't know. I might have to adjust that. We've opened them up like a tin of tuna today. I'm going to decrease the shot error to 60. I'm going to drop the width a little bit. They felt a little bit overstretched there. The centre backs were near to each other and not covering the half space as well. So I'm going to decrease the width so that the full backs actually help out as well. Ball is through and Campo with the save. First time he's truly been tested today. His first big intervention. He denies the near post. The defender put pressure on the attacker as well. Shot is in. Miller with the save, but unfortunately falls back to Sarsovic. Unlucky block that, to be honest. Miller deserved more. It was well blocked, but Sarsovic picks up the rebound and mops it up quite easily. They've just kept the ball around and had a couple of chances so far in the second half. They've been worse, and now they've got the goal. This is turning a weird game, this. And a good save from Campa. Pass error still feels wa way poor on my players. Maybe, maybe because they have poor passing stats as well. I don't know. Yes, ball through. Here is Veria. He could finish this. He can, and he has... I think that's his one star weak foot as well. That's his one star weak foot. Joel Veria once again. His weak foot is not as bad as his player bio says. Superb finish. And he makes it 3-1. Doubles the lead once again. Telford save Camper. 
Thank goodness. King's got it. We've still got the counter going. Yes, King saved. Oh, unlucky. Superb this play from the lads. We ended up having more shots. Plymouth Argyle had a lot more possession. Converted our chances really well. Luka Sokolov has a massive say in that. He was outstanding today. Also, Joel Verrier and Joel Jackson. And Oscar King even. They were... Uh, all four of them were outstanding. El Shanawi was outstanding up front as well. And Camper did a superb job in defence. Our squad depth definitely won us this game. As Plymouth Argyle's squad depth was nowhere to be seen. They just didn't have the same drive today. They didn't have the same grit as they had in the reverse fixture. For this game, I'm dropping my pass error down to 45 from 46. And in the CPU, pass speed's going up to 44. I'm going to drop the line height and line length to 45 and 46 respectfully. And the line width uh, definitely helped out close some holes in the defence. I'm going to keep it at 47. There are the starting 11s. A much fitter Oldham Athletic side compared to Plymouth Argyle. And a tougher side as well, so I expect a big challenge here. And we're playing in our own turf, which is grand. Let's get down to the Valley Parade. Target is the playoffs. That for both teams, remember. They've both got a chance. Maybe both will get in. We'll see. All the action is very significant. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you here on EA TV. And it's live. Take the lead. Yes, good block, O'Carroll. Early on. Slide tackle in the box. Dangerous but effective. There you go. Here is Cooper. On the counter-attack, can we score? Crosses in, beautiful delivery, but somehow it's snatched away from Boral. Pull through, here is Donaldson. Beautiful first touch and a save to match. Pull across, here is a Zappo and it's in. All them Athletic have the go-ahead goal. They've done me dirty at the near post. I couldn't tackle him. The strength there playing a big factor. Turney. Pull through. Four out. Here is Cerny again. All the way from right back. Yes. Through ball. Can we score this? Yes we can. It's Bradley Edwards with the instant equaliser. Not from the kickoff glitch but from the possession after that. And there he is even from left wing. He still pops up with a goal when we need the most and what a surprise Cerny from right back getting the assist here is Cooper he can run at the heart of the defense he's gonna give it inside yes Boral inside it could be two Edwards missed it that was a big chance he drags his shot slightly wider the mark oh inches away from the post that's a bad pass. Cooper through. Very bad pass from the CPU. Here is Donaldson. It could be two. It's saved by Woods. This keeper today has been on fire. Eklund whip it in. Donaldson's alone. Now Bruno with the volley. All it's missing now is a goal. Cashgate. Oh, th oh, the trickery there did me completely. Fair play, Oldham Athletic. It's 2-1, and you just don't mind losing to goals like that. Very well done. Nice little turn, and the ball roll did me completely. I think it's time for some subs after that goal. Varenkov and Kelly are on with the pace. We need it dearly. Donaldson's done well today, but I don't think he's going to do much with that stamina. Same with Eklund. They are off. Edwards goes up top for a few minutes see how it goes Cooper he's got Varenkov out wide can he keep it in yes he can it's inside for Bruno when he's hit the post oh my days what is it gonna take for us to score another goal oh, and they're gonna hold up the play even more the ball is through it could be 3-1 Kavanagh saves it great save it keeps us in the game the final sub Boral goes off for Alexander absolutely shot that's full time 
Oldham Athletic have beaten Bradford City. It's 2-1. And the story of the game couldn't convert our chances. And look at that. We've dominated proceedings in this game. And we somehow weren't able to score more than just the one goal. I'm going to decrease the pass speed a little bit to 43. It felt a tad too quick and too precise. So that's what I'm going to do. Decrease this pa pass speed to 43. I'm keeping the pass error in 55. It feels okay there. The there are the starting lineups. Perry and G and Sean Scannell, our former winger, are playing against us today. And they are a fully fit side, and we're without Edwards, so it's going to be a big test. Milo plays at centre-back. And before we get into this game, I've got to address something I was told last episode. Thank you very much to Maxwell who pointed this out in the premiere. Uh, Daniel Moller might actually be pronounced Muller. And Google Translate actually pronounces it Moller. So, I'm not so sure what to do here, guys. I'm going to stick with Moller for now. For this episode's sake, but please let me know in the comments. Let's get down to Gresty Road this time. Jackson, good challenge. And he's off. Send it through. Look at the run being made by none other than Daniel Moller. It could be 1-0, and it is. He makes no mistake. The man we spoke earlier before the start of this game has struck gold as we draw first blood in a very important game. As Donaldson gets it through. Here is Daniel Moller again and that's a bad miss there. That's an absolute howler by the German. It should have been two. Through ball to Miller. And Miller has done well against his English counterpart. Jackson. Yes, through ball. Here is Jackson. Through for Donaldson. It could be 2-0. It isn't. It's saved by Richards. Jones has the corner kick. It's badly cleared. And it's a goal for Crew. It's a misconnected header there. From the front post. Should have done a lot better there. And what a volley to equalise. No wonder why the shot error is at 60. Ainley anticipated it very well. And a tiny gap in the crowd of bodies allows the ball to get into the back of the net. King still. He's got the beating of his man, but he can't get past Perry Young. It's going to be tough to beat this defence now. Eklund. Yes, Daniel Moller skips past his man. Can't get past the second, but does earn a very dangerous free kick. And we've got some subs to make. Which means, Edwards is going to be on the pitch to take it. He's done this before, we need it now. Big moment, lad. Can you produce? Oh, and it's in! It's in as well! Bradley Edwards, mate! Take a bow! What a time to produce! Look at that, picture perfect, into the top corner, the dip was perfect, Edwards has Sokolov on the opposite wing and he's making a run for it, here is Sokolov, he gets it back, it's Bradley Edwards with his second of the day and he has made an instant impact off the bench. It's 3-1 Bradford City and crew have just capitulated. It's chip over the top. Quadra has the space to line up across. It's Donaldson. The volley goes over. But he got a good connection to it. It was not a bad attempt at all. The referee will surely blow the whistle after this goal kick. Let's see what the other teams have done. But we've done our job for now, which is what we wanted to see. 3-1 to the away side. And Gallo and the away fans must be ecstatic about that. As you can see, Crew Alexander only had the one shot on target. And they did score from it. They did have more possession. Bradley Edwards 
undisputed man of the match here. Another crucial two goals. Shall we have a look at that free kick again? My days, what a goal indeed. Have a look at this. On real speed as well. The placement doesn't get any better than that. And let's have a look at the results. Bolton have won. Cambridge United beat uh, lost to Stevenage. And Oldham Athletic have slipped up. I missed the only important result. They lost their game 3-1 against Port Vale. And we are now in the playoffs. Win can seal it in the final day of the season. Goal news on. Oldham Athletic and Bolton are both away to Cheltenham and Macclesfield. And we are at home against Gallo's former side in Morecambe. Only Donaldson and Cooper missing from the starting eleven. They'll be replaced by Borel and Nowak. The rest stays the same. It's Eklund through ball. Here is Borel. It's 1-0. Straight away. Oh my days. We've gone through the middle. Look at that. From the corner kick. The defense was in disarray. And Borel made the most of it. Right place at the right time. Very much needed stress reliever. This one. Randir Borel, 15 minutes in, he gets his 7th goal in League 2, probably his most important to date. And we've got an injury, Light Smith is down. It's definitely a serious injury, oh, Nowak has landed on his shin. Oh, that must be horrible. Oh, that leg is definitely broken then. Oh, challenge, well in, Eklund, with ball, Bradley Edwards. He takes off. He's going one on one. Here is Bradley Edwards. Oh, the shot is dragged wide. The cross goal shot is just not worth it anymore. You can tell Edwards doesn't miss from them kind of opportunities. And he's just missed that one. Maybe the shot error coming into play as well. Yes, he does well to regain possession. Here is Nowak. Back inside, return the favour to Edwards, it's saved again. Quick combination, get out of the way Edwards mate. Oh and he's injured as well. Oh ball is through and it's a goal, Alessandra has equalised at the worst possible time. What a through ball that was. And Alessandra has made deadly use of his pace right there. Ball, Edwards, he's got it, here is Edwards, come on Edwards, oh my goodness, that might be the playoffs out of the window, and in the end we can only blame ourselves, we had the chances to bury this game, we just haven't done it, are we through to the playoffs or not, I don't see the players celebrating, yes we have, oh yes we have, look at that, Morkham have scored with their only shot of the game, this still happens. Still part of the game. And Simon Eklund, man of the match, 8.1. It was a good game nonetheless. Just taking their goal, everything else was. Cheltenham Town drew with Oldham Athletic. That sends us through to the playoffs. Thank goodness for that. Scout Report is back from England. Have we got anything? Yes, we do. Marcus Richardson. What a name. I don't think I've had that beforehand as well. Great valuation, 78 to 94 potential, doesn't get any better than that. Automatic sign. From the Czech Republic, we've got Havel Rivar, 77 to 94 potential. 275k, he should be around the 60 overall mark. Just below it, I'd say. He's a right winger, 6 foot, great potential, great overall. Boleslav Slavic, I've got to take the gamble on him, 68 to 94. And finally, Andre Matinek and Hornik we're just going to miss out on. From Poland, Sean Jackson has actually found some pretty good players in here. The best is actually this name that I cannot pronounce. If you want to have a laugh, I'm going to have a go at this name. Yandrei Wojcik. Let me know down in the comments how it is pronounced because I I don't know. Tomasz Baran? as well he has a good valuation you can't pass on him and same with Leszek Kowalski who has over half a million in value
And that is it for the episode. Here are the final standings. Plymouth Argyle have won League 2 with a whopping 119 points. 12 above Salford City. The gap from the automatic promotion spots and the playoffs is staggering. Here are the League 2 players. We're going to face Crowley. Bolton are going to face our bogey team, Stevenage. I hope Bolton wins because you, you always know something is bound to go wrong against Stevenage. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all next time. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.